fear of the Lord and for the glory of His majesty. The lofty looks of men shall be humbled. The haughtiness of men bow down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted. Exalted one, prepare my heart, draw me to your presence, exalted one, oh. exalted Enter into the rock and hide in the dust. Create in us a holy dwelling place. Mm -hmm. For there is none like unto Exalted one, prepare my heart, draw me to your presence, exalted one.
Can you hear me? If you can hear me, okay. If you can hear me, kindly tell me. Please share, share. 80 people are already in the house. Only two have loved it. Thank you very much, Bongani. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, we're going to have a special tribute to the victims in the synagogue collapse building. You, you know, many people, they don't get it. Why I am doing what I am doing. The reason why, one of the reasons why I am doing what I'm doing is for what happened to those people shouldn't happen at all. One of the reasons what happened to those people, if those people have adhered to what I came out to say in 2008, I believe many of them will be alive today. Yes, many of them will be alive today. In fact, all of them may be alive today. Many of them will be alive today. All of them may be alive today. If they have had air, the word of God says, they that have ear, let them hear. Okay? They that have ear, let them hear. Thank you, Zimba. Thank you very much for being here. Dr. Chidi, I welcome you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you for being here. It is seven years. It is seven years. Uh, <laughs> Simba, why do you just run away? Is it because uh, doctor is hiding? You too, you are hiding. Um, we, we need to talk eyeballs to eyeballs. Okay, let me, let me uh... finish my intro anyway. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Uh, really, you said you can hear me clearly. I appreciate you. My guests are already in the house. Uh, Dr. Chidi is in the house and Simba is in the house. I'm going to give them each time to, to introduce themselves. Okay. And as I was saying, I said it's been seven years today. Three three months, exactly three months. TB Joshua celebrated his birthday in 2014. Exactly three months, house collapsed on guests. And as I said, not everything that flies in the sky is a bird. Not everything that flies in the sky is a bird. Not everywhere they, 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 they mention the name Jesus. Not everywhere they mention the name Jesus are truly followers of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have never experienced the church of Jesus Christ as never has never received such blow. We are a charlatan. We single-handedly, we take multitude of people out, but it happened in the synagogue. And as I said, if people have listened, if they had listened to our cry since 2008, if they had listened, I believe what happened wouldn't have happened to them. And I also said, huh, I also said that uh, if they have taken heed, possibly they will be alive today. But unfortunately, many of them, they ended up in body bags just because 
they went to look for miracles. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we are doing this. So that what happened to them wouldn't have happened. Okay? Yeah. Um, in the honor of those people that died, let us just observe a few seconds. Let us just observe a few seconds. Silence of a few seconds in the honor of those people that died. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We pray that those, uh, the families of the victims, that the Lord will heal them. The Lord will heal them totally. The, the Lord will, will grant them strength and fortitude to bear this loss. Fiona, I welcome you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me blessings. Thank you. Ifyoma, thank you. Away Jacob, thank you. Bongani, thank you for coming. I really appreciate all of you. Edith has been here a long time waiting. Thank you very much. June, thank you. Obaseki, thank you for Larry. I really appreciate all of you. Fanta, thank you very much. Samuel, Samuel. Thank you very much. Country, country VIX. Thank you very much. Please let us take the lesson of today away. And that is why I want all of you to share, share, share. Share to different groups. Share to different groups so that people can learn. Okay? So that people can learn. So that people can learn from... 2008, many people, they, they, they thought maybe we are jokers. They don't even take us serious. And you can see the, 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 the unfolding events. You see the unfolding events. It is not yet over. Let me tell you, it is not yet over. It is only a shagun, shagun o law that can bear me witness of this. Because uh, I walk, I, I walk tirelessly throughout the week. So uh, this morning, I finalized my video that I'm going to share with you. Then I, I decided to take a nap. So while I was sleeping, Shagun Olo called me. He was the one that woke me up. And, and by the time I woke up to pick the call, he started asking me, are you all right? Are you all right? Because, you know, I couldn't get myself for some, for some minutes, you know, headaches and, you know, I, I, I was, I, I couldn't get myself. So when I came to myself, I started telling him the dream that I had, it was a terrifying dream. So it's not yet over for the people in the synagogue. It is not yet over. If you love your life, just stay away from that place. I'm telling you, if you love your life, stay away from that place. It is not yet over. It is not yet over. A dead body was discovered inside the synagogue. And they are saying that it is some disciples who killed that man. No way, it is not those disciples. It is not those disciples. Before TB Joshua died, people have been dying and they have been, they have been packaging, they have been packaging dead bodies. Sometimes they drop them in a trash can. Sometimes they drop them inside the river, inside um, a marine mountain, inside TB Joshua's uh, mountain okay they drop dead bodies inside those water 
sometimes we don't know what's you know even happened to the bodies of anyone that that died there so it's because tb joshua is not around that's why they discovered that dead body if he has been around they know how to package it okay there are lot of there are lot of things that have been buried in in that place that will be taking people out i'm telling you so even the dream i had this afternoon it is only shago that can bear witness because uh, after he started asking me are you okay evangelist are you okay i said what i witness now oh my god oh my god oh my god so if you love your life if you love your family who are still stubborn staying in that place tell them to vacate that place i congratulate those people that they sent out even though i do not subscribe that they should disgrace them because apart from tb joshua those girls those people are the synagogue apart from tb joshua those people evelyn was not part of synagogue she 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 uh well it just happened that she has been taken as the wife and she cannot even claim to be wife because if she wants to claim to be wife she should bring out a marriage certificate there's no marriage certificate so all those girls all of them they are all tb joshua's wives in fact tb joshua even was with those girls more than evelyn you understand so um if you want to know more about that just get my book you will know stories about evelyn and for you to know what we are saying is true tb joshua did not include evelyn's name in the synagogue constitution it is now that they just contend it okay so we know what we are talking about all right so i i want to welcome uh dr chidi and simba uh as i said not everything that flies in the sky is a bird not everything that flies in the sky is a bird um please go and uh, understand that idiom it is not everywhere they call jesus that they are followers of jesus christ so today uh this we are going to uh just honor the victims that died in that place uh we know what happened many people may not know we know what happened and we're going to talk about it today in honor of the victims yes um okay uh, let me give uh, dr chidi and simba opportunity to introduce themselves i i want to welcome you i'm really honored please share 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 i'm really honored to have this finest gentleman in my studio thank you from thank, you so thank you so much thank you so much uh uh bisola uh oh, good to see you I again simba thank you so much <laughs> um yeah welcome everybody my name is uh my name is chidi i bring you greetings from uh, toronto canada and um it's it's an honor actually to be part of this uh, discussion, especially because of what we're doing here, we all know what happened. And for those of you who do not know, um, uh, synagogue of all nations, or whatever it is called, their building collapsed and killed a lot of people. This happened in Nigeria, and I am from Nigeria, and it was such a disgrace the way it was handled. These people were not given the kind of uh, respect they deserve they were just treated like dogs everything was uh, shoved under the the, the carpet uh, due to a lot of corruption in the system in nigeria and so as an activist we felt um more should have been done 
but it wasn't done. A lot was covered up with uh, with money from TB Joshua. In fact, there are videos of um, journalists who he called them to a room and he shared money amongst them. And a lot of these things we're going to talk about later. But I'm glad to be able to finally uh, have a program where we're remembering the people that died, especially because the, most of them were not Nigerians. They are people that came from outside Nigeria. So this is an opportunity for people to know that not all uh, Nigerians are not wicked people. It's not some, it does not portray a good image about us. So even, it, it may be too little, too late, but at least that we are able to do it is something good. So um, I really want to, I really want to appreciate you, um, Bisola, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Bisola. And uh, I hope you can hear me over there. There's, a, there's an echo somewhere coming through, and I think there's another device that's playing in the background. There's a device that's playing in the background. Could we please maybe mute our microphone? There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a device that's playing in the background. Um, folks, there is a device that is playing in the background. Please mute. Uh, please check, please mute check, the check, this check if you are if you are listening on two devices. Bisola, uh, please mute mute your your system. Okay, thank you. Right, thank you very much, and uh, thank you, Bisola, for bringing me here. My acquaintance with uh, you, Pisola, uh, goes back to, if I'm not mistaken, about 11 or 12 years ago when I first saw you on YouTube and you were an activist back then. You were in a video in which you were criticizing uh, this preacher, TB Joshua, and Okay, we, I can't hear what you said there, Bisola. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Bisola. Bisola, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Bisola, <laughs> we can't us. hear you. She's not hearing us. She's not hearing us, yeah? Yeah. We can't hear you. Okay, so quickly. So my, my, my acquaintance with Bisola goes back uh, to, if I'm not mistaken, around 2008, when Bisola was a, an activist and she used to appear she was appearing in several uh, videos on youtube where she was criticizing this preacher who i had no clue whatsoever about but later on in my career as a journalist i would discover so many things about tv joshua and it took me about six years to dig further into this man not that i wanted to Mm -hmm. but i was drawn by the international headlines so to those who are tuned in who are not from our community of zimbabweans south africans zambians my name is simba chikanza and i'm a journalist from zimbabwe and i have played a role in our nation and in other parts of africa and that of striving to bring the at, at the best of our ability most the most uh, up to date and well investigated and biased news uh, investigated and uh, and published for several years and uh, we have paid a special attention to investigating politicians not just that to getting them prosecuted now that is how aggressive we are i don't know dr chidi if you knew that uh, we not only report about what happens uh, in our community, but uh, we we pay a special attention uh, to detail uh, that also seeks to address the problems that are bedeviling our continent. In our country, current, uh, I mean, our our, our our latest success is with Zambia, and it was myself who actually called uh, the former president of of Zambia just three weeks ago when he was refusing to step down when he had been defeated in election and he had switched off the internet. And I held him for over 20 minutes and firing the crucial legal uh, bullets that are needed here to bring the truth out there when a whole head of state 
was communicating falsehoods to the detriment of his citizens, uh, 18 million citizens. And this is, this is how we work in uh, uh, our news network, Zimai. And um, we have many other cases before that I could list here, high profile politicians. We don't just interview someone. If we see someone is committing a crime, we pay attention to try and come back to that story go as much as we can around so that the truth can come out because people who are in power who are either in politics or they are in some sort of organizational institutional uh, position of power they tend to control the uh, what what people should consume as news they will they communicate fake news to the detriment of our citizens and we discovered that there is a, a problem the whole of africa of politicians, preachers as well, who work to just continuously subjugate our citizens in a perpetual state of defeat, and in this case, self-defeat. And on the day that TB Joshua's building collapsed, um, I, I had been investigating TB Joshua and I received emails on that day from TB Joshua's press team. And these are his own publicists who send us emails uh, to our desk. And they were announcing that people are coming out. People are coming out alive. Praise God. This was at a time when international news agents were reporting that a building has collapsed at TB Joshua's property and people are trapped. Uh, loads of, a lot of people are trapped and they could easily die. And in that very moment, TB Joshua's press team were communicating falsehoods. I still have those emails. Anyone wants to me to open them during this program, I can. It is important for history. TB Joshua was directly communicating to the world and to Nigerians and all over, to the, the whichever community is the Christian community, that people are coming out alive. And during that moment, TB Joshua's own staff were assaulting rescuers. They were also assaulting journalists as they were announcing that people are coming out alive. Now, that was really, as we were reading, we could see there was such duplicity and I could call it downright evil for any any Christian leader to do that. And, uh, and soon after that, a few hours later in the evening, TB Joshua would come out and we, he was on video mm -hmm. with a big, big bag of money and thousands of US dollars dishing them out to journalists. Fortunately, one of them filmed him even though TB Joshua tried to switch off the cameras. Um, but at least that record is there and that video is on YouTube. And after that, we had statistics to the tune of 116 predominantly South Africans. And then there were two Zimbabweans people from my own country. One of them was a, a, a popular uh, leader. And the main opposition leader, Morgan Changrai, could have actually died in that building as well, only that he was saved by two months. He had been there two months before. Dr. Chidi, during that whole process, what was shocking was the level of belief that even in that demolition, in that whole total murderous act that T.P. Joshua had done to the people of our continent, who are his own worshippers, many continue to believe in him and i was also shocked that one of them who i was interviewing would later on go back and she would claim that tb joshua is under attack from satan and yet this was the same man who had literally illegally built that that that, that building he had illegally extended that building with no planning permission and not only that, he started communicating falsehoods about that collapse. Started saying that, look, in this case, the people are coming out alive. That was the first thing. The second lie was that Boko Haram was responsible for that collapse. Later on, after some months, it was said that the Nigerian army were involved. And uh, um, 
But later on, I want to, I can talk over more, more, more. And there's so much here to talk about today. But from our investigations, we discovered that TV Joshua is one of the worst deceivers, perhaps human, in humanity. And uh, we're talking here as a community leader who not only, not only uh, lies about the lives of people, but he himself, he himself, is behind the killing of people and and the a, a, a nigerian court a magistrate's court ruled that tb joshua's organization was criminally liable for that building collapse we only later on learned that uh, nothing ever happened to tb joshua himself he was never charged but quickly i want to finish here i don't know where bisola is but i'll quickly run through here Okay, she's rebooting. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, quickly. Exactly four years before TB Joshua's death, in my investigations, I was booked for a meeting at the European Parliament. And that is in Brussels, Belgium. And I prepared this speech, which I have on my screen right now. I still have it here. It was the 5th of June. Ma mark this date. If you go on to Google, check what happened, what would happen. The 5th of June, four years later, exactly four years later. I'm not a prophet, by the way. But I just find it weird. <laughs> Dr. Chidi, absolutely weird. That all these, these dates, they're just kind of connecting. But <sighs> it's a crazy coincidence. But I'm hoping that this coincidence also helps maybe it can assist someone to know more because on the 5th of june 2017 i was waking up i i just flown into brussels and i was due for these meetings with e some eu mps at the center of bell of, of brussels hmm. and this was my my my, my catch up with them which i also then put in writing because soon after you meet these people you then send them minutes you send them sorry your because i it was a a speech that i prepared so i had to send them in writing mm. i'm just going to read bits of it here as i stated before these matters have been collated from sap snap surveys conducted on our news network i also typed there the mm. principal tyrants of the zimbabwean community were arguably spiritist prophets command pseudo churches and they are responsible for the cancerous culture of moral retrogression. And these people are the chief sponsors of the political chaos. Through deception and the criminal pillars they have erected, they manipulate the people's poverty, material and ideological and suffering, while directly sponsoring ruling politicians, as the world faces a new type of religious extremism in which the masses are forced to eat poison, as an example here, as a ritual. They are also responsible for destroying industry, severely marring government economics to facilitate their occult business. In my presentation, I will bring live examples of collapsed industries and also some of the victims. These people who are a handful of mainly male occult leaders will continue to destroy Zimbabwe and even the rest of Africa unless their acts are put to a stop now in our position is also evidence of global criminal activities they are also involved in which they include money laundering card crime the endangering even killing of people in mass and the trapping of millions of citizens under a state of terror and self-defeat i'm hoping that we can put that in mind there that phrase self-defeat this way tyrants dictators continue to thrive as people begin to act more like irrational animals and real humanity dissipate in one video at a conference for instance a zimbabwean preacher is seen instructing citizens to manipulate cash machines so that god can bless them now this preacher that i was talking about here has had meetings with tb joshua his name is Hubert. Hubert, he calls himself Hubert Angel. Unless this is stopped, Zimbabwe will not progress. The global community cannot continue to ignore the perverse violation of human rights. It is our belief that the European Union and, our, and, and other international bodies cannot look away 
or ignore the glaring evidence before them of masses of people, millions, who are being violated by greedy men. They are all named and documented and being reduced to brainwashed, cabbage citizens. They must be stopped. And our proposal are that punitive measures, travel and economic restrictions be effective on them until they stop these acts. Oh, this was a bit, yeah, I just had to just do a summary. I'm sorry, doctor. Uh, I don't know, has someone come back? I think there's an echo again. Do you mind muting, sir? Maybe, and then when, when I, as soon as I finish, we can. Do you? There's, there's a terrible, are you, are you terrible still, sound in the background. Yeah. Are you still hearing the echo? It's gone now, thank you. Okay, so quickly. So this was my speech, Dr. Chidi, on on the if you know that I prepared on the 5th of June and little would I know that exactly four years later TB Joshua would be dead. Uh, I, I don't know where it's it's coming on and off, but how is it right now? It's gone now. It's gone. Maybe just mute it completely and then I'll mute when you're speaking. No, no, no I'm not. Okay, unless I mute myself. Completely. Okay. Yeah, just mute yourself completely. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So, see, I think it's gone now completely. Right. So, it must have been coming to one one device or so. So, what I would do is when I go off, then then you can come back. Okay. I will I just think be it was off. Maybe because Busala was coming. Busala. Possibly. Yeah, yeah maybe. Possibly. But is so, the so one, yeah. Go ahead. I, I think it's gone completely now. Yeah. So, so, so you see, um, from 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 uh, that meeting, this is what ha what would happen four years later, and I don't rejoice that TV Joshua is dead. And I'm not here to talk about his death, but I'll just find it um, absolutely weird that um, four, exactly four years later, TB Joshua would be gone. And I don't know if there's any lesson in this, but I guess the viewers here can participate and tell us what's happening. But um, maybe before I go, um, I'm just rounding up here. We do have Zimbabweans. We've got two Zimbabweans who died in that uh, collapse. One of them is Greenwich Ndanga. He was an MDC leader. His wife, Esther Ndanga, I continued to interview her after and speak with her. And um, she would have been here, I believe. But unfortunately, later on, and I'm sorry for saying unfortunately, but I have to from my own, from the way I look at things, she she later on told me that she feels that TB Joshua was being attacked by Satan. I don't know. I don't know how that happens. Can someone help me? <laughs> you understand? Because I'm so... I, it's beyond me. You know. To me. To me. To me. Listen to me, Chidi and Abisola here. To me. Uh, TB Joshua himself was Satan. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm done, folks. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I've been hearing you over time. But, uh, right. You know, I have to shut down and reboot because I couldn't hear I both see. of you. I see. That was um, splendid. Yeah. Thank, you for, yeah. thank you for your presentation. Dr. Chidi, do you have something to say? Because I have uh, um, maybe um, a short video to show, if you don't mind. Do you want me to go ahead with my video? No, oh, no, nah, go ahead. Um, go ahead with your video. I already done my introduction, and um, uh, there's so many things to talk about, but we we'll take it uh, one, uh, I mean, one, one issue at a time. So go ahead and play your video. Okay, yeah, please. Um, I'm going to play my video now. Just, uh, just stay with me. Um, okay, I think it's this one. Your volume is low, by the way, so maybe you need to okay, speak closer yeah, to your I'm, mic. I'm, oh. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stay right on the devil where the devil can do me no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. Okay, please, I just want, I, there's something I notice here. Maybe, you know, all these videos are in public domain. Uh, these are the videos from the synagogue. Um, they are showing two sides.
two sides of camera that happened at the same time. Please, we are not dummies, okay? If they are dummies, we are not dummies. They, they brought out these videos and they said this thing happened. You understand? At a certain time, the first one by my, okay, yeah, the first one uh, at the extreme here is the front front video. And the second one is the, the, the uh, back video. But do you know that the same event happened at different time? Look at the timing of their CCTV. The first one, the front video, it happened the same the same event, right? It happened 1244. And the 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 second camera that took the same event, the camera says it happened at 1:30. I don't know where that can happen. Okay, so I just want to make you to note note that. Oh no, I'm the devil can do me no harm. Gonna stay right under the blood. Oh, stay right under the blood, blood of Jesus. Amen. Stay right under the blood. Where the devil can do me no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. Hey, no harm. So we have been saying it over time and this is one of the reasons why we are coming out so that things like this will not happen to our children to our husbands to our family to our brothers but people are not listening they are still taking flights from jerusalem to samaria looking for what uh, they they can't get and jesus has said see Jesus has said that God is spirit, meaning that everywhere we are, God is there, even in your toilet. And uh, we are, I am not doing this just because uh, other people are doing it. If you go to my website, you will see that every year I remember these people. Uh, this one uh, was the one I did last year. Six years on, I kept asking, when we squand victims, collapse building, get justice, no justice for them. Instead, TB Joshua keeps sending them money. I think um, at, at a time I wrote on my Facebook that people should stop collecting money from TB Joshua, no matter how poor you are, stop collecting his money. Because the more you collect his money is being justified that he paid for the souls of your children. He has paid for the souls of your husbands and the souls of your wife. He has bought them. Okay? So, you know, it's a spiritual thing. You need to understand. All right? So, um, yeah. Some people are going to open our mind to some things. I want you to listen, listen very well. Please listen very well. These were insiders. These were insiders when the thing happened. Please listen. Hey, it's very hard, very, very hard. Step this is a mother of uh, one of the victims, 80 years old woman. How do you want this frail woman to take such, such news? The whole family is sort of like being torn apart by this issue. My sister, my sister had a gap, but the person that we saw that doesn't have a gap. But what made this thing even worse was when we wanted to see whether... You can imagine bodies were, 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 were changed. You, they, they give different people different bodies. I mean, different families, different bodies. Can you imagine? A, a soul man, 
any pet marks, any scars or anything of the sort. That body doesn't have a skin. One of the statements that was issued via a, a, a independent station that if the family has got issues, they must take it up with the Nigerian government. Patricia Mkulisi's remains were supposedly among the last 11 that came back from Lagos last month. But the family's claim raises a few questions. Was there no DNA match? Or was there indeed a match with her sons, as government insists, but a body mix-up in Lagos? The planned independent test may just lay the story and indeed the body to rest, or just dig up a chain of issues all parties would rather have buried. So it is well. I, I, I began to think deeply. I just like to see the way out of a situation. Um, before, before the gentleman continue, somebody sent me this. He said uh, um, a, they discover a, a, a body of a disciple in the, in the Squan Mountain. And good, uh, the, the, the person was a citizen of Thailand, is not a Nigerian. So the federal government of Nigeria and Thailand government, they are, they are having serious issues concerning it. Assuming TV Dosha was alive, they will not discover anything. They will package the body and do whatever they like with the body. It's just because the disciples cannot, they, they, they don't know what to do. You understand? So his body is yet to be repatriated. All the big sisters who relocated to that prayer mountain has been caught for stealing and, you know, stealing money in the strong room before the incident happened. So they, they are now with the CID. Some of them are with EFCC. You understand? Some of them have been arrested. All right? So that's, that's just uh, about that uh, screenshot. And uh, this person has, is long overdue. If he's going to repent, let him repent and uh, change. But uh, you and I know that. Um... Okay, sorry. It's like screenshots just enter, you know. You are going to enjoy, I mean, you are going to listen to what that man said uh, concerning the collapse. And, you know, he just dig, dig into spiritual aspects. So today, somebody was telling me after I shared, you know, my regular sharing on my WhatsApp, and this person was in the synagogue at the time of the collapse. This person said, we are in solidarity. It is just like yesterday, the smile of dead body still, he entering under the rubbles, searching for the dead suddenly we were asked to stop so this person was telling me that why they were you know they were searching for more more bodies instruction came that they should stop searching and all of them knew that there are still bodies under there so that place has become their symmetry that's why bodies are being swapped. That is why the, the, you know, people are not getting their family members, okay? Because bodies has been swapped. Even, I, I, let me tell you, they can even go to morgue and pay. There's nothing TB Joshua could not do. They can pay for, for dead body in the morgue and send to South Africa and say, this is your kinsman or this is your king's person. You understand? Because he needed those bodies in that place. You remember when that house collapsed and, and volunteers rushed to the scene in order to help. Synagogue locked the gates. I, I know some policemen, you know, they may not want to come out now in order to, because they are, they are working for the government. They called me and they told me that they were, they were unseen, but the gates of the synagogue was locked. You know why? You will soon know. 
because the, that collapse was a sacrifice and they needed certain number they needed certain number number of death for that sacrifice to be completed so they don't want volunteer to rush in and help those people that were trapped or else many people will have, will have survived it if immediate help has gone to them but they locked the gates for hours they locked the gates until when it became obvious then they now open the gates okay so this this person that is talking is saying that um you know uh before the collapse they 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 had premonition and they receive uh, messages spiritual messages that such a thing will happen but suddenly because uh the 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 new tb joshua time was up they 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 have seen it even me too i've seen it in my dream long time that it it, it, it was going to you know take off you understand because his evil was too much and many people have prayed that he should change but if he refused to change god needs to do something because one person only one person cannot be destroying the whole world all these people they came to this world in order to fulfill destiny and this person is taking them out so listen to the person you you are deliberately you renewing your life from year to year the other time the building collapse happened okay it was him that people were saying that he was going to die then hmm. it was him i saw it too i saw it and uh, after like two or three days when we were praying with my family at home the next thing i saw was that ah this thing has been waved though. You understand? And that night, that night, I had a vision about the building collapse there. And I told my people that uh, something was going to happen in school. So I saw blood. I saw I saw blood. And I, and I told them, then the next day, the afternoon of that day, the building collapsed. So okay, the, the price he pays to renew his life is too much. You can imagine over 200 people dying because of one person. Mm. To re just to renew himself. Ah, sister, uh, there are some things that are not supposed to happen. Mm. Ah, this because this way you go, this way you go too, was like that. The sacrifice was too much. One person, 200 people going for one person. One funny thing is that when one person maybe comes to his prayer mountain and discovers something he's not supposed to discover, before you know it, before four days, he said, mm. there's a man that, this man is a brain. When, when, we, when we talk about technician, he's a brain and he's an asset. This man, I just learned that uh, he went to the mountain. He, he, he entered where he he's not supposed to enter. He saw what he was not supposed to see. And the next thing they do, I know that they have presented his name for death. Before you know it, this man slumped on the road and died. Mm. So, what about the life that we're we talking about? These are the people that they will keep sending their names for destruction. Eh? Mm. Ah, how many people, how many abortions have they done there in the name of uh, renewal? It's too much. How many virgins? How many virgins have been this virgin by this man? Sister, you know all this thing now. I know. <laughs> 14, 16 years, you know, 12 years, 8 years. You know, this, you know, this is all these small, small girls that left about 3, 4 years ago. A lot of them have become prostitutes. People were saying, yeah, you know, the more they prostitute, the more fatai gets benefit. Yeah. So they keep sharing it in the world. Okay. You, um, share you share people, uh, people start having very concentrated and destructive pride. They start, if you see people that stepped out of that place recently, you can't relate with them on a, on a very uh, flat uh, level. They are very, very arrogant. It's not as if they wish to, but the spirit of arrogance level up. And um, they, have, they have this concentrated love. And you can, you can almost see it. Let, let me say something here because before another person come in. Um, somebody say it could be a controlled demolition. There's nothing TB Joshua could not do. He could pay for it. He has the money. And also, let me tell you, he's saying plane flying over there. He could, play, he could pay for those, those planes to come and fly around there. But let me tell you, see, uh, that synagogue is flying path 
of planes to the airports. You know, airports is not far from the synagogue. I even remember there was a time when they were building a, 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 a story building. Uh, uh, airports came, airport departments, they, they visited synagogue and they told them that there is a level of height they can, they can maintain. They should not build more than that because that place is a flying path, okay? Let me give you another shocking, shocking thing, if you will get it. I left, you can go and check. I left synagogue in 2008. And from 2008 till 2014, T.B. Joshua didn't travel outside Nigeria. Remember I said it. I don't know the kind of spiritual door that, were, that was closed on him, that was shut on him. And he needed to open it. Before I left, we, you know, we, I usually travel with them, of course. They go to different crusades, you know, South Korea, uh, uh, Singapore, Indonesia, um, you know, Australia, different, almost even twice a year or three times a year. But I tell you, when I left there, February 8th, you understand, they went to South Africa, Ghana, everywhere. February 8th, T.B. Joshua did not travel outside this country. Go and confirm until that year of sacrifice. I mean, are, are you not seeing something? Are, are you not seeing something? The moment that collapse happened, it started going to Paraguay, Mexico, you know, different places, Israel. You, you, you understand? So please listen, another one. Maybe they said before the house collapsed, they, somebody dreamt that that house would collapse. He still put people there. The occult people who went there. All of a sudden, I start seeing people with the shaki, people hmm. with white. This is somebody who was there when it collapsed. If you know him by his voice, you know. You understand? They said the moment that collapse happened, look at the kind of people. These people are uh, idol worshippers. You understand? They, they are in secret society. I don't know, except if they come for salvation in the church. So these are the people that were visiting for time and immediately after the collapse. People, some people will come with uh, uh, tiger teeth in their mouth. They will hold some... Like some people will come with tiger teeth in their mouth. You know, they, they will put on their regalia and visit him. It has become an open thing. Ah, uh, different, different kinds of uh, people begin to come over. You know, the same boss, that boss, mm. the one you are saying now, that went to Cameroon. Eh? Yes. If she's the one that receives them and will take them to the restaurant and feed them. Then they will go to him and they will give him a package. Give her a package to give to them. Then they will go. Every day, almost two, three groups of people coming. All those people with white. So people with shaki. And they are that thing they call shaki. Mm -hmm. They are not hiding it, so they come in daytime. You know. Because them I begin to imagine myself and say these people coming to church. What has church got to do with it? So they will come, they will take them to the site where the building collapsed. They will look at it. Once they will take them to a restaurant, they will eat. After then, they will give them an envelope. The envelope contains money and they will go. Another group will come. That's what I said, VCN Media. I know what I said. I didn't miss. I said the year of the collapse. The year of the collapse. The year of the collapse. That person, Bosse Agbaire. Do you know that Bosse's sister and their mother died? The mother died. Ah, and the sister, Gladys. Oh, that's the uh, senior one. Mm. Look at, immediately after T.B. Joshua died, members started losing their children. This lady, she lost her sister and her mother at the same time. Can you imagine? What do you call that a church? 
You know, Bosa became, uh, the stomach became so big. I don't know what happened. Uh, Axel had to leave. He went to the donkey and came I don't know, but she passed. I think I saw her that day. He said he went to John Chi and he saw John Chi wife, Wumi, went to visit yeah. Abadist. Ah. Yes. yes, now what do you expect? I'm very sure it's not Fatai the Berry. For him to be in that place for one month, they have done whatever they want to do with him. Definitely. I, I guess as much. Ah, they can't deceive us. Over what? Say one month, one month, from June 5 to Ju July 9. Mm, they were building where they lay him. I know, they okay. only use that one to cover. Okay. Those people must have gone to that place. They do whatever they want to do. Where, where they kept him? Ah, it's a, it's, it, it, where they kept him will not be the general mug now. And it will not be the general mug. And those kind of people now, you know, they know themselves. Even the hospitals, they know themselves. Uh -huh. They know themselves. When those people come, the people of the mug will give them time because they know what is happening. And that kind of place, they are the people that usually own it. So they should not just uh, say they now bury him, everybody see you. What is everybody see? What he hold them, they have taken it from him. Hey. Wicked man. When, when, when a man is sleeping with uh, his sister's daughter, don't you see that Shola, Shola, Shola don't even... He doesn't, she doesn't regard him. Okay. Now you're getting it. Shola doesn't regard him. And when he wants to do those, when he wants to do those virgin, he force himself on them. Ah, which kind of, what is this? No. Because he need that virgin blood. You know, see what he still go do for Cape Town? Uh, they whisked him out of Cape Town. They would have arrested him. Uh, which kind of mommy? I know that this man, you know, there are some influence he has over something he has done. You can imagine someone go to Cape Town for crusade and he went to sleep with a with a young girl there. They would have arrested him, but they whisk him. They, you know, you, you, that 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 guy was also we we live together. We know what happened. Then the moment he came back, the, because they 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 reported him to the police. He now printed their pictures. He went to bury, the, bury their pictures again under the sand in order to punish them spiritually. What a wicked man. To, to cage everybody here. Eh. Yeah, man, something. It's not ordinary. But I, I thank God. He didn't even fear for his children. He didn't. He said, I'm telling you, the man has a heart. He has a heart. He didn't consider them. It didn't, what does the Bible say, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world? Okay, now, the fleet of cars, the jet in uh, all those. Who, who is that after that? Hmm. You will know that the man, I thought he has wisdom. I didn't know that he just a, a packet of... Oh my God. What? 28 years? Shabi, you all met me there. I know. You all met me there. It's 1993. He did not even fear God. He didn't fear God. When I this man talking, he lived in the U.S. And he, he had some issues and he came to Nigeria and they took him to synagogue. That was how T.B. Joshua did something to him. He couldn't return again. He stayed in, in the synagogue for 28 years of his life. Now he's gone back to village. Having nothing, no wife, no children, no no life, nothing. And somebody said uh, they want to mourn TB Joshua. He doesn't deserve to be mourned. I came, he was a local uh, man who doesn't know his left from his right. Every time he's asking me a question, I'm brushing him. I dusted him or he turned around to pay me. This ten cobble. This man did not give me. Shebi, you were in the in the in the meeting. When Anu said she has no womb. I was there. And the same, you were also in the meeting. When they put Pepe inside Anu's uh, private part. He asked, he asked the to do that, Abby. The Yajino said it's late. When, when any time Fatai wants to sleep with Virgin, it was oh. Yajino that usually helped him. You know, Yajino is late. I know. She vomited blood, die. 
The same way, they died the same way. Fatai too vomited blood, died. But we thank God we are alive today. Go, go, if you try to see Akewi, the guy was a wizard. He took last day, they, they flew him to last day, they, they flew him to Turkey. Yes, he had he had a stroke. The guy called TB Joshua, he was part of. Okay, this is a lady who, who contacted me today to tell the story of her mother. The mother also died dead. Did but she's concerned. With Edman. She's concerned that anyone that died in the synagogue, their souls are inside the synagogue. Their soul is not going anywhere. We don't know the technology TB Joshua has used. Even TB Joshua himself, the, he's still there operating. So we are saying it so that you Good can... Good morning, Madam Bisola. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for all you're doing. May the Lord continue to, you know, give you the courage to enhance life. Amen. Um, my name is Omashola, and I would like to share my experience in the synagogue, especially that of my mom, with you. My late mom joined the synagogue in the 90s, right? And T.B. Joshua made her the choir mistress back then. And um, Anu was part of her set then. Back then, T.B. Joshua gave my mom his sticker with an um, Arabic inscription on it. She usually puts it inside her brazier and she prays with it. At some point, my mom wasn't, you know, comfortable with that reality but she had no choice because her sister took her to tb joshua so in year 2001 tb joshua celebrated his birthday and uh, my mom attended and that was her end yes you see birthday and it always happened after his birthday <laughs> let me say that was the beginning of her end she became very sick immediately after his birthday and then we rushed her to the hospital to different hospitals though we did several tests but nothing was found and um, dr faramed i think i remember dr faramed advised us to take spiritual measures because what um what they couldn't find anything we did, you know, several tests, but nothing was found. So, um, so we rushed her to the synagogue church. But unfortunately, T.B. Joshua told his disciples not to allow us in. We called his number severally. He refused to pick. And we're like, how can you not pick a call from your choir mistress for good one week? Because we're calling him every day because because he knew what he has done to that woman so he will not want to pick hear what moses only said my childhood friend that we parted ways because he joined squan in 2013 died 10 days after tb joshua's death on 15th june it's like they had um it's like they had a covenant so we are warning it's not yet over please continue listening you know but he refused to pick we were visiting the synagogue church every day but they never allowed us in i know hello hey. so they never allowed us in so finally on the seventh day she died before she died you know she was showing signs of madness. So we chained her down. Yes. And um, after she died, me and my siblings were forced to live with our grandpa in Ibadan because the stress was too much for my dad. So a few years later, I went to live with my aunt who still attend the spite of what T.B. Joshua you know, did her sister because she was one for him.
I remember then, you know, um, he was paying her. He was giving her salary. So one day I had a dream while I was while I was sleeping in her house. In the dream, I saw my mom, and she was asking me questions. First, she yeah. Secondly, asked, did Florence not tell you what happened between me and Tibi Joshua? I replied with, you know, I said, Mom, I don't understand what you're saying, you know. Then she started crying. God. She started crying, and I started crying with her. I said, Mom, tell me what happened. She was just crying. She told me not to worry, you know. But she was really pained in the dream. She was really, really pained because I felt it. So when I woke up, the first person I saw in front of me was my aunt. And the first statement that came out from her, from her dirty mouth was, your mom is in Jesus' hand. She is enjoying in heaven. And she said, I should tell you that T.B. Joshua is the Jesus that everyone is waiting for. Therefore, you know, she said, therefore, get ready for deliverance in the synagogue church because I'm going to hand you over to T.B. Joshua. You know, I was really um, confused within me because what she was saying doesn't tally with what I saw in the dream. If she was in a sweet place, then why the cry? And why would she be asking me, what are you doing here? You understand? So, um, she said, T.B. Joshua is the Jesus Christ that everybody is waiting for. That should get ready. So, she hooked me up with um, Wiseman Christopher. They did their usual magic. And I was forced to say things that I was not. Hmm? And people need to be aware of this. Please note this. In the synagogue, you are not allowed to say things the way they are. The disciples will tell you what to say and they will record you. Right? Mm -hmm. The only time you can say things is when what you want to say is in alignment with what they want you to say. Uh -huh. No wahala. That's if you're ready to lie, no problem. If you're, if you're ready to add sweet, maggi salt, no problem. So they did that to me in year 2012. So after they have recorded me, the next day, I started having terrible dreams. At first, I saw Wiseman Christopher trying to have sex with me in the dream. The next one, I saw my aunt standing beside T.B. Joshua in the synagogue, and she was pointing at me. T.B. Joshua asked her to catch me because I wanted to run away. You know, they were trying to cut my hair in the synagogue right there in the dream so i tried to come out of the synagogue but i couldn't because the bouncers didn't allow me so when i woke up from the dream the first person i saw again was my aunt so the next day i packed my bags and left her house and i deleted her contacts mm -hmm. in year 2020 june 11 precisely I saw my late mom in the dream. She was in the synagogue church. She was grinding pepper with, you know, traditional stone. Not only how, they were many. And she was sweating. I asked her, Mom, why are you grinding pepper? And why are you grinding pepper with traditional stone? And then she said, Ah, T.B. Joshua, Lord me. I mean, that means T.B. Joshua sent her. I said, what? So when I turned, I saw T.B. Joshua standing beside me. And he was smiling. I was really angry. So when I woke up, I cried like a baby. In fact, I cried though. Like even, you know, right now um, I'm feeling pained somehow because, um, oh my goodness, it is well. So when I woke up from the dream, I prayed with so much anger. I said, God, whoever is caging my mom's spirit, should die for my mom to be free that was what i said because i was really pained when i woke up so it is you know my experience there nah was a terrible one so please people should note that the death of tb joshua is not the end of his energies the death of tb joshua is not the end of his wicked energies 
his wicked energies are still out there in massive forms so please children of god be guided please please so um the, the, the reason why i'm pained is because my mom didn't you know experience god before she died she didn't she she, she never knew who god is before she died so please now that you are alive you have the opportunity Mm? to be one with god you have the opportunity to be in alignment with god now that you're alive because when you die there, there won't be opportunity you so please and for those that died in the synagogue i i stay right under the can't hear you we can't hear you bisola we can't hear you yes um this is what we are saying okay that this is one of the uh um one of the lessons we are taking away you can imagine we have been saying this we have been saying this if those people that went there 2014 listen to what we had to say in 2008 they could have been alive today you understand so we have no reason we 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 are not lying on tv Joshua. there's no reason why we should lie on him so please you see a lot of people after he died you can see a lot of scenario a lot of things that happen no 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 no, no straightforward thing see there's a man in this country uh this this man one of the um one of the Nollywood act, actor, his name is Baba Jesha. Let me let me give let me uh, mention his name. He called me. That was the first time I would speak with him, and we started, you know, talking on the phone. He was the one that called me. He said, "Ah, I saw your video on internet, and I believe you immediately." He he, he said, "Do you know why I I believe you?" I said, "No." He said during the collapse in the synagogue that somebody came to call them call them there are many you know it's like tb joshua's agents he has agents everywhere in the sports arena he has agents in the in the uh, uh drama and all this nollywood uh, uh, he, he has agents so his agents especially that man that usually blow trumpets T Mark, he, he used him greatly. So he, he said the man came to them and asked them to uh, to carry placard, they wrote placard for them. That anytime they they have court case, TB Joshua synagogue has court case, they they should carry placard and they, they wrote on that placard, stop uh, leave TB Joshua alone, it's not this, it's not that. They, they they form a kind of pressure group against the government you understand they they form pressure group against the government he said anytime they go to court each person two hundred thousand. he said he collected it few times but immediately he saw my video he said ah this man is not right that if you are a true child of god if accident happened go to court go and defend yourself why are you why are you why are you trying to manipulate things and the corona judge that the the material they used in building that place was substance was substandard the corona ruled against them that they build the house without government permission the corona ruled that they built they they intended two-story building but they raise it to six-story building. TB Joshua was a criminal. All the trustees of TB of synagogue need to go to prison. Even those people who are fighting for leadership now, because the money is down. 
Thank you, uh, Dr. Chidi. You have something to say. Um, I mean, there's always so much to say and um, people tend to misunderstand uh, reasons why this is done. I, I, of course, I have my own reservations uh, and people are entitled to their own opinions. I see things from an objective perspective. Of course, there are things that happen in the spiritual realm, but I don't, I don't, I don't dwell so much on that. I'm more interested in the damage that the activities of people like TV Joshua has done to the fiber, very fiber of our society and what it continues to do. You see, the reason why we can't stop talking about TB Joshua is that there are still so many TB Joshua's in our community, in our society. And you may think this is just a local thing. No, it's not local. What TB Joshua, the influence he has goes beyond the shores of Nigeria. What C.B. Joshua does affects, look at the people we're talking about today, a lot of them, most of them were from South Africa. And I believe, I believe there are so many of them who are Nigerians, but nobody will get to hear because that one, it's easy for him to shut them down. So the people who died in that collapse who are even from Nigeria, you may never get to know about them. But because his influence is all over Africa, he what he was doing was affecting uh, ministers, presidents of different countries. It is a big issue in Africa. That's why we must continue to highlight on this. We must speak the truth that we know so that people can... Um, if they are smart enough, they can take uh, they can take heed, you know, and change their ways and run away from people like TB Joshua and the synagogue. There's just so many horrible, embarrassing, shameful stories, stories that are shameful to the body of Christ. And judgment must begin in the house of God. All the people who are like TB Joshua, that's why you see me still condemning people like Apostle Suleiman. He will right. still try to he will still try to 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 shut down this video. By the way, I want to announce on your show that we've been able to recover our videos from Apostle Suleiman and people like him, and YouTube is now beginning to discover that Afric Noli, Afric Noli is a fake channel that he's been using. Fantastic. So I'm sure there's been a lot of your, your, your videos, videos about Suleiman that, that they shut down. You must, you must protest. Yes, you need to, you need to appeal. And before, um, YouTube will not listen to you because it was spending money on lawyers and all that. You see, we must continue to expose these people the other day, somebody was asking me, uh, Dr. Chidi, do you feel safe? I say, I said, what do you mean? He says, even in Canada, do you feel safe? I said, my life is not important to me. The thing that is important to me, or, or the life I live right now in the world, is not as important as the life I live in God. It is God who has control over my life. Any day he thinks it's... It, it's um. I'm ready to come home. He will decide what can you do about it. But the moment we stop saying the truth, the moment we stop doing what we're doing because we are afraid of people, then that day we start dying. Because the Bible says, Come, let me show you that person who is able to touch your life. That is your real life because this life that we live, this one is not life. Oh. That's when cool. this life is over, that's when you go before your, your maker and you see the real life. So don't be, don't we, we can't be afraid of people who touch the flesh because they can only touch the, spirit, the, the flesh. They cannot touch the spirit. The people who should be afraid of are the people who, sh who should be afraid of. And in fact, the person we should be afraid of 
is our maker, our creator, who can touch, snuff us out just like a candle. That's the same person who TB Joshua is going to stand before and be answerable to them. So we must continue doing what we're doing. Uh, Abisola, I want to commend what you're doing. Um, I want to really um, commiserate with everyone who lost a loved one in that collapsed building. I must ask them to continue. They should never stop. They must not stop. They should file cases in court. Uh, um, the synagogue has a lot of money, but it's not even about the money. They must compensate these people uh, uh, properly. But before that, there must be a court of competent jurisdiction that should listen to that case and give a good judgment so that these people can have a closing. That is that is what is important. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, they need a closing. Even today, I spoke to one of their counsel. But unfortunately, uh, he's just flying into the country today. You know, uh, lawyers, are, lawyers are judges. They are being on holiday. All right? So mm. and I encourage them, please go to court. I know mm -hmm. money is not about money. Money is not enough to, you know, to in exchange to to their to their family members that they lost. But most importantly, if anyone have not received Jesus Christ, is opportunity for you to receive Christ. You need Christ. You need Christ. If you need Christ, yeah. you don't need man. Jesus said, "God is spirit. If God is spirit, you can stay anywhere, wherever you are in your home." In your bedroom and speak. Bisola, Bisola, one, one second, one second. Can you place us side by side so that uh, uh, your face can be seen? I think uh, uh, a caption is uh, a caption is covering your face. Good. Okay. This is better. Okay. Oh, okay. sorry. Sorry. It, okay. it went back again. Yeah. Try. Understand. Yeah. Understand. That other one. Beautiful. Oh, yes, but we are by. Whereby um, you are looking for a, a physical God. That's when situations like this happen. I've, I've seen many people, they will leave their home. You know, people. somebody complained to me that he, he spent six million. This person didn't give me any money, oh, but he spent six million from Belgium to synagogue. Back and forth, back to back. I said, what are you looking for? He said one day, you know, why he stopped going? You know, he has been he has been hearing my my messages, but he disregarded me. But what happened one day? He went there, and they they sold some waters to them, and he told them that uh, uh, his his daughter is still sick, even though he has brought the daughter there. So he said they tr they threw him out. He said, what do you mean that your daughter is not healed? He said, can't I complain? Can't I complain? So he said, uh, the, the way they treated him, they treated him badly. So that was when he got sense and said these people. And he told them, he said, I have been your, your partner. I spend money. I send money to you every month. They said to her with you, are you the only partner? Ah, he, 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 he said, ah, uh, you know, why should I? I said, well, this the same thing we're you know, saying. It it, you know, Bisola, I just wanted to answer some people because you know we're cross streaming on the Zima News Network as well. So there were some questions here on why it is that when I was speaking, um, I appeared, some people felt that I went on a tangent that was not relevant. Ah. Um, yes, and I just wanted to want to answer on that. Uh, th that was a background, uh, some background detail that I felt is important for people to know uh, my involvement in this because I've never myself attended any of these churches at all ever. And um, I encountered uh, this TB Joshua person and his institution in my work and um, I have no agenda. And also it was to bring also the, the, 
um, to the fore the clarity on, of the motive behind this. This is to help the African people. Um, I, having encountered millions of not just our citizens, but the rest of the African continent's citizens, I have noticed that there's a belief that our people are struggling, that you are struggling because you are cursed or because there's something that has happened to you or this and that. And uh, these preachers, particularly the T.P. Joshua type, they make you believe that you are useless, that you are worthless. And they make you believe in demons that they themselves actually project to you if there's any such whatever it is, that mind thing that they stay they transmit into uh, people's heads and um it was also to show that uh, there is a, a a need here to address this problem once and for all because it's going to recur and one of the ways to deal with this is using legal tools that are there and i'm glad that chidi has just mentioned here that the people who lost their lives the families who've lost yes. their loved ones yeah. that the collapse they need mm. to sue this institution and sure yes. you, you you take money out of them don't don't yes. take any if you lost your loved one or if you mm. lost an arm even if you got a scratch you need to ensure that you get compensation you need to, uh, and it might not be TB Joshua, it could be someone else. These are the type of preachers here who use you and they make you appear and make you feel like you are worthless, that you are nothing without them. They can abuse you, they can sleep with you, they can infect you. Uh, and um, uh, we've had people even thinking that it's a, it's a you get blessed by drinking the cup that a preacher has just drunk. And we, gen we always generally see um, a flood of traffic. People now trust these preachers more than they trust the news. Wait, more than they can. You just read for themselves and conclude them. You want a, some some special anointed preacher to Simba, tell you what is. Simba, yeah. let me let, let me help you here. See, you have to understand there are so many perspectives to what is going on. You should actually be glad that you see people like myself and Simba weighing in. That is to show you how deep this has gone. And people don't understand. We're, we're looking at this superficially. You just heard that people from Belgium are coming in. Imagine they come all the way to Africa and this is the kind of thing they meet. Look at how they have convinced, they, they are convincing people to eat grass. Haven't you seen all the nonsense that is going on? People are being convinced to eat grass and they eat grass. People are being convinced to drink kerosene and they drink kerosene. People are being convinced to do all manner of all manner of things. And these are people that are within our communities. People are even being convinced that you do not need to work. You will get re you receive miracle money. How can? How can you have people trooping to where you're deceiving them and you are not even advising them to go and get a job? So if you're saying, why is Simba talking about uh, other things that are not related? You don't know what you're talking about. Presidents of countries, presidents, a whole country's president. When you deceive a country's president, don't you know that you are controlling the country itself? I remember when um I remember the the remember the man who Bisola you, you can tell the story again the man who his country was was having like a riot or something and TB Joshua convinced him that no he doesn't have to go back to, he doesn't have to go back to his country and they were bringing dollars I, I think you should talk a little bit about that story so people understand how he can change the mind of a president and by extension the lives of the people of that country. See, let me, let me tell you, even before these people started coming, I don't know what gave him that uh, confidence. He has said that uh, he will be advisors to presidents and all that. So when these people started coming, you know, is in, the full details is in my book. Chiluba, the, one of the uh, you know, presidents that visited there, I was called in order to stay with him 
and, and, and run mouth commentary on what he was watching. You know, that's part of the brainwashing. They, you are watching something. They believe that you don't have enough brain to capture what you have seen. So they still need somebody to, you know, to start telling you running commentary. So after running commentary, the man also was, uh, was brainwashed because he said a lot of, you know, things. And secretly, he, uh, I was asked to ask him why he visited. And it was because of his health issues and also uh, concerning his marital uh, issues. And he told me, he said he has spent 10 years that he was ready to leave, that he was just winding up. Then I was surprised because if you are coordinating someone for TB Joshua, if he's seen the person, you have to stay very close. You understand? Immediately you finish so that you can, you know, you can lead the person away. And moreover, you know, in those days he couldn't understand some certain uh, language whereby you can quickly chip in to explain things to him. So I was by the door when he was telling the man, the man said he has finished. He said, you don't have to go. I can pray with you that you, you stay and you be you stay there. I believe you must Okay, have okay, 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 Bisola. Bisola, I see, just pause there. I need people to understand. This is the president, the president of a country. You see why we have, now you see why Simba talking about the political angle was very important. You, I don't, you see, that's where I get frustrated. You just heard that the president of a country confided in this man that, you know, I, I, my time is done. I, in fact, 10 years, I've had enough. I'm ready to go. And TB Joshua was able to corner this guy where he's telling him, no, 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 you don't have to go. I, I can help you stay there. Meanwhile, in this country, nobody has a clue about this. There will be political upheaval, riots, people are dying, the economy is plummeting, a lot of things are happening. And TB Joshua is able to convince the president of a country that he should stay. Now you understand how deadly the activities of people like TB Joshua can be. So when the man went back, he's supposed to organize election, but no election. And the Zambia started rioting. I will take his call to give to, because TB Joshua don't take call directly. So he, he started complaining that there was riots, people are killing. He, I hear him saying, don't worry, I'm still praying, don't worry. And between this time, at two different times, people were sent to Lusaka, to government house. They brought money. At that time, he has an open bank account. Physical money, physical money. I've never seen such physical money in my life. Dollars in traveling bag, trolley. It was kept in his bedroom. So he started buying. That was when synagogue was cooled down. So this money, this money, this money was Zambian money. You see? That's right. That's right. That's right. US see? dollars coming from, from, from President Frederick Chiluba. Chiluba see that? Yes. yes. So two times huh. they went there, Mr. Luko, Mr. Benson, because Benson had to go with them because the man was still not healed. You remember I told you, he told me that he had a challenge. So Benson had to go with them because Benson was a junior prophet. He had to go with the contingent in order to continue to pray, 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 pray. Yeah, Mr. Luko, you know, they went and uh, Mr. Um, uh, maybe I, I usually don't forget, you know, names. So, you know, three of them, they went and they brought these big bags. And, you know, we will stay in his room and be counting dollars. They went to China to buy supersonic cameras. You understand? So, and after some time, we heard that the man has been arrested. TB Joshua do not pick his call again. So if the man said, mm. oh, let me speak with him. He said he has gone to mountain. He, you know, he has gone to mountain. You dare not take the call to him. So the man was under house arrest for a long time until he was, you know, released and he went to South Africa, you know, on earth, on earth ground. And after a long time, 
Uh, you know, Tim Joshua has a house in South Africa. So some disciples went to South Africa, Dave and Angie. So it was in South Africa, they saw Chiluba. And quickly, you know, you know, all disciples are his uh, interpol. They are his um, informant. So he called and said, ah, I saw Chiluba in this hotel. He said, go to him. You know, at that time, Zambia had already moved on. You understand? You know, Zambia, they had new president and all that. So go to him and say, I sent to him and pray for him. Dave also used to be junior prophet until he left because TB Joshua slept with his wife. Is it is in my is in my um, blog? You can read it there. TB Joshua slept with his wife. So and that was how you know they come back to each other again and Chiluba visited synagogue again until he died. Go and Google what why he died. It was you know his uh, his health issue. So people who go there, they don't you know and you know he want to be he want to be manipulating this president and be you know uh, teaching them or uh, manipulating them on how to govern their their country. So when you when you when you um, when you no. vote for a president no. of your nation, and what they have, no. uh, what they have uh, promised, they didn't do. Be believe it that why they didn't do it is because of people like T.B. Joshua, who are behind them, Te you know, uh, telling them that nothing will happen. Just do whatever you want to do. This president, they have, you know, Sean Gomez, they have all these false pastors, fake pastor, fake uh, prophets, charlatans, and all that, you know, behind them, hmm. supporting them. They are, you know, I've done oh. a video on a broadcast on that, why personalities should stay away, because TV Joshua is using them, using their pictures, using their videos in order to capture the minds of, of people around. Because when you watch Emmanuel TV and you see people like uh, uh, presidents of nation there, you believe that maybe they are doing something important. That is why these people, not knowing that, you know, either you're a president or whatever you are, or celebrity, you, you are a human being, and um, uh, gullibility do not have class. Gullibility has no class. Gullibility has no color. Some people, they get moved because they see white people there. Gullibility, stupidity, has no, knows no color. You understand? We are all human beings. All right? So these people, they, they were drawn to it, to, to the place. But the moment they have problem, go. Go to Gabon. Gabon. A president of Gabon. Omar, Omar, you know, that man, he sent private jets to pick T.B. Joshua from Lagos. You know, these are how, you know, the money he, he, he got, okay? He sent private jets to pick him up. Can you please join us in broadcast? We are on broadcast. Thank you. So, you, you understand, you know, are you talking about Ghana president? Even when he was sick, he, he would just evade. He would, he would just, you know, he, he won't... Well, so I want to, I, I would like, just just on on on, uh, on Frederick Chiluba, the former president of Zambia, his time was up. His two terms were up. And he goes and then he tells TB Joshua, my two terms are up, my 10 years um are, are running out and i need to yeah and to exit but then tb yeah. joshua tells him to hold on to power that's right that's right this is this is this is, this is i can't handle this it's it's and it's, it's, it's don't worry i will pray for you you know you can continue so, sorry sorry bisola bisola there's there's a banner that's really distracting a, a green banner on top of you do you mind it a green banner Yes. Okay. Yeah, the um, the right. captive movement. Something. something yeah. Oh, okay. it really. I yeah. It. it really. It's really distracting. We can't see you, and it seems it seems off visually, graphically. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think it's, it's out 
No, no. No, it's still there, but. It's still there. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay. okay thank you very much. How much better oh. now? Okay. So, um, so you, you were talking about. You were talking about uh, Frederick Chiluba. Ch Frederick Chiluba's time was up. He, his 10 years were up. His two terms were up. And then um, he tells T.B. Joshua that he's, 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 he's now leaving office. And T.B. Joshua tells him to hang on to power. He said innocently. He said he's already done, that he's, he's leaving, that he has done 10 years. That he said he's leaving. So, you know, I had that. I've already told T.B. Joshua that this is why, because he, he asked me to secretly ask him why he visited him. So you want to know, you, you understand, ahead of time. And uh, so that you can also use those information as uh, as uh, as basis for, for prophecy. You understand? So these are the things we have done when we were in the synagogue, okay? And and that's that's why year, do you remember which year this was? This must have been 2000 and something, 2003, 2004, maybe? Yeah, I think 2004. 2004. Right. Okay. Was it 2004 or 2001? You know, at that time, synagogue has not been pulled down. Yeah, it was still dark at the time. Okay. okay. Well, I, I, I had to, yeah, I had to ask all these questions um, and also to stress uh, my involvement in this um, is purely journalistic. I have not had any interest, even at, um, at a spiritual level. I uh, do not have any bias against TB Joshua, bias for or against, uh, apart from the things that we found out um, that were clearly criminal. And I do have a case, uh, one of them which was now um, in legal hands and T.B. Joshua physically worked to disrupt and it was a case involving a woman who was raped and T.B. Joshua was moving to bribe this woman who was a Zimbabwean citizen and um, oh. it's a story whose audio as well is in the public domain and if people want to watch it you can uh, you will see T.B. Joshua's audio with a woman called Angela Charakupa who's a Zimbabwean and, and I just have to stress that so that uh, your viewers here and other people may just know the background, my involvement in this, um, which is, it has got also other, other, other trails that we followed. And uh, that clearly show and they prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that T.B. Joshua was nothing uh, other than a criminal who is... Yes. Out criminal. to make money with people, out to take advantage of people, out to take advantage of women as well, and didn't care about human life. There's no, no feeling. A man who used to quote scriptures and uh, quote them poetically many times, there would be music, and uh, he had collaborations as well with them, some American preachers, very dodgy ones as well, and uh, one with uh, a, 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 a very, very we call them fake. He's a real fake preacher called Hubert Angel, who's another abuser of women. And uh, they would be in concert together. And we, we have uh, uh, admissible court, admissible evidence here that we have proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that this man um, was, an, was someone who was an enemy of humanity. And if anyone wishes to get to know, to see what we have, uh, do drop us in the inbox. You can also search on, on the Zimai News Network and you see uh, these many other stories that we've investigated over the time. And lastly, Bisola, before I go, because I also need to rush, I wanted to say that we have seen that there's been an onslaught against people like Bisola who are whistleblowers who are out there to tell the truth. And this onslaught is not just against Bisola, but many other um, with uh, many other preachers to portray them as demon possessed like Bisola was portrayed as a demon possessed woman and many in the African community started thinking so and believing so and not, not, not stopping to read for themselves to also ask questions, ask these preachers ask them questions and no one ever confronted T.B. Joshua, people just felt like well he is uh, the final word 
And whenever such things happen, we also use that those type of um, of uh, incidents uh, to show that a person is now untouchable. And uh, no matter who you are, even if you're a politician or whatever, if people can't approach you and confront you, uh, then it shows that you know you are now you are now an abuser, even even before we know anything else. But quickly, mm. as far as be Joshua, we have more than evidence to show. Uh, even though I never traveled to Nigeria myself uh, at any time, but I've had direct here. I've got direct evidence uh, to show that he was an enemy of humanity. And uh, I want to applaud Bisola for standing out. Uh, Bisola is one of a few. I'm shocked that there are others who even lost their loved ones, who have who, who never n- never responded to interviews. And uh, Bisola, no, I guess she never lost a relative, but we've got people here. Someone lost a brother, someone lost a mother. And uh, we, we contact them, would you like to be interviewed? They shy away. They don't even want to be interviewed. And I lost, and, I lost my dad. I lost my dad while I was there. Okay? Physically, you mean your dad died, you mean? Yeah, yeah. And a cousin, a cousin of mine visited there uh, with HIV. And, uh, you know, after shaking hands, I saw him doing like this. Oh, I'm here because the, the, um, the disciples, they were, you know, uh, forcing him. Come on, stretch your hands. But I heard he died. You understand? So there's oh, no sorry. one who has said that. But I must say, I must say, Bisola, uh, like in our country, m- m- not many, not many victims come out in the end. Most victims. I don't victims, know why they don't come out. Yes. I don't know like, why. We have six people. Yes. That you know what? They, they have, they have problem. I don't know oh. why you are afraid of human being like you. See, in my, in, in my, in my broadcast, I put the link out generally. If you come in, just say your mind, either for or against. We are not afraid of whatever you have to say. We are all human beings. Everybody needs to be treated with dignity. Okay? Mm. So, but whereby you are being hushed, whereby you are being shut down, it's unfair, it is ungodly. Mm. You know, we've we've, we've even seen, you know, in, in our community, beyond prophets and preachers, we, we even have politicians, okay? People who have been abused by politicians. Not like in Zimbabwe, we had six people shot dead three years ago, uh, a, a, um, just after and during elections. Um, and you know what? Six people have been shot dead, okay? Oh so God. that's six families. Some 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 have still have bullets in their bodies and the like. But you know, out of those people, Bisola, only one, one person from one family, okay? stands out to speak and she's not afraid and she's in zimbabwe she's not in the uk she's not in south africa and you know she's the only person who goes to court and you know what she goes to court she sues the government she sues uh, the emerson of nangagwa takes him to court she loses the case guess what she takes it up to the, to, to the supreme court as i'm speaking right now she's at the supreme court one day she tells me look zimba i want to take this case up even internationally i want if if, I, if it means i die okay let me die after i've hit once okay i've got to stop these people and 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 then we have um it, there were other atrocities that happened the following year. 17 people were shot. Only one family sued the government. Fortunately, this man kept on hitting until eventually he won his, his case. He won $4 million compensation. He lost his son and fairly shot. But what I want to say is, Bisola, very few people hold on. And people hmm. don't understand that unless you hold on and you confront criminals, no one will ever stop these people. After they have, they have affected your family, they're going to go after more. They hit your family. Next time they'll hit a hundred more families. They will not stop. These fake preachers, these fake politicians, are you hearing me? Criminals were just politicians, whoever. They will not stop. After they've abused you, if they rape your daughter or if they rape you, they're going to rape. Think about others. Yes, they've done it to you, but what about others? Mother and children, mother and children. 
lot mm. of people call me liar because they say, why only you talking? I mm. said, well, I don't know why other are not talking. So that's why I wrote this. I wrote this. I wrote another one. So you, you understand? So I don't know why they are not talking. I don't mm. know why they are I... not talking. TV mm. Doja is nothing. It's nothing. Mm. Even why he was alive, nothing. Second and if you see... Nothing. If you see Bisola, I, I live in Europe. I, I spend my most of my time in Europe. I think Chidi here is yeah. so the third man, his name is Adewusi. So Benson uh, Adewusi. You understand? So I know what I'm talking about. And you know, you know, Bisola, talking about freedom. Africa will never know freedom until its people rise up. And, you know, we mm. live in the Western world, okay? I know Chidi is in Canada. And, you know, where we are, the reason why these countries are free is because people don't take nonsense. People can stand up and they can sue, they can do what? Are you with me? France mm. has, has had revolutions. And I'm sorry, you know, I'm not trying here to, to glorify some of the things that people do. But if you see, there was a time recently when a person slapped the, the president of France. I'm not, I'm not saying that should happen, but I'm talking about freedom here, knowing that you are special. You, you, are, you are not an animal. You are special. Mm -hmm. You can even confront. And even that man who slapped the president of France, do you know what he got? He, he just got a fine. It was a minor fine. I think it was a thousand euros or something. Are you with me? Yeah, when people stand up, and that's why the societies in the Western world they are freer. Yeah, and 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 the even the way the, the distribution of wealth is equitable, everyone gets a house in Europe. It's not because Europe is rich. No, 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 no. The people don't take nonsense. They stand up. Zimba. They believe in themselves. Zimba. Yeah. Zimba, there is a man during the week that calls me. He, he complained. He, in fact, I was so busy, but this man kept calling, calling, calling. At a time, I said, okay, what is it? Because I've already sent text. Please send message, send message. He said, I want to talk to me. Okay, what is it? Then he started telling me uh, something about Christopher, the offshoot, offshoot of TB Joshua. That, you know, what they, they, he has been doing in, uh, in that, uh, his ministry. I said, can you come on my on my on, on, on my platform and tell people so that people can know what Christopher is all about? When Christopher left synagogue, I gave him a call. I said, you cannot serve God. He said, why? I said, me and you know why. All the things that you have been doing in the in the in the in the mountain, do you think I, uh, you can serve God with that conscience? So. <laughs> We, we, he, he said it will be coming. Then by, by two o'clock, I need to, because I need to get my, my, myself, uh, uh, you know, right. So I send him the link. Do you know that since that, that time, he has been off, he has been off radar. He saw the link. He saw the link. He said, all right, man, let me go and charge my phone. So me and you, we agreed to be here on Sunday. And when you saw the link, you now said, let me go and charge my phone. Since hmm. that time, it's not back. Well, so, you know. I sent the message, I said, we are almost closing, okay? <laughs> so, you know, I'm not going to help you to tell your story. Gonna the oh. days, I help them to tell their stories. But oh. now, I don't need to. So I <laughs> You see Rashidat here. Rashidat, why are you here? You... Rashidat, can you hear Yes, me? ma. No, I've been following you, so I just want to be here. I, I live very close to synagogue, but I've never entered into synagogue because my mind, my mind is not free with him. So I've never entered the synagogue. But I have relatives that are there sometimes. There was a man, I think uh, he's an elderly man, but he's dead now. He was there for like three, four months. He said he was sick and he went there. They gave, the, they gave that uh, daddy, um, what did they call it? This paper that he should be putting in his body. Then after everything, the man came back and nothing happened. He didn't receive any healing. So 
And people, and we were living in the barracks then in Ibadan with my mom. So there are some people that went to synagogue. They said they are pregnant. And after everything, we didn't see them deliver the baby. So my mind was not there. So I don't have anything to do with synagogue. I don't, I, I don't really, I don't trust but him. You see them on video. Would you see them on video parading as if they've been prayed for and now they're, they've them, been but healed, I don't they're going to get a child? Something is telling me, inside me, something is telling me. Something is telling me, Sinagog is in. Yes, I do. I do see them, they'll be shaking and be shaking, but inside me, something is telling me these things are not true. So I don't go there. I don't, I'm not his fan. I don't like him. So... That is it. So I guess I have. I am interested in everything you are doing. How, how, how many kilometers are you from 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 this this crook, this crook's property? Uh, I have a friend living just opposite the synagogue. I was there two weeks ago, looking at the church, just looking right. at them, looking at the entrance. Nothing. I don't enter the place. I don't like them. Rashida, so that's Rashida. Yes, sir. You yes, ma'am. You need to ask your friend. Because uh, one of the ex disciples came. No, my friend time. was there. My friend was there. He's having um, a hip. I don't know what. Uh, he's, uh, he's an honorable in Lagos now. My friend oh. was there. He's having oh. an accident. Oh, and she was there. She even told me, uh, Rashida, that I'm going. I said, You can go. I don't know what is happening there, but you can go. And she said she was there. They prayed. And after which, they collect her crutches. And said she uh, she should be shouting. Hey, uh, I said then what happened? He said my friend, they collected my crutches, but I couldn't feel any healing inside me. And then somebody went there. Can you please give us the crutches? They said no, you are here. Don't worry. That person said no, 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 no. We borrowed the crutches. Can you just give us the crutches back? And she called me. She said Rashi. I said. Ah, you better go to the hospital and go and do your surgery. You will kill yourself in this church. She then now go to the hospital and do the second surgery. That is, but now she's working well. But she's a living testimony to it that nothing was happening in the synagogue. There was no healing whatsoever, nothing. Whatsoever. You're telling me that nothing whatsoever. Come on, nothing, Rashid. No, nothing. I, I know inside me that <laughs> nothing is happening in the synagogue. Go quickly. Rashid, that. You know what? I, I'm, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to need to 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 be, uh, to be on and off. Right. But I just want to ask here quickly, those watching in. I can see some people are still throwing questions there. Uh, some are disputing Bisola. Some are thinking Bisola is cursed and all that. Listen to me. I am an independent person. I have the evidence that this man is a crook. Okay. These people are talking about what they've seen. I'm not there. I've never been to Nigeria. I don't even know where it is in the map. Sometimes I have to look again. But I have myself court level. I've had direct, direct contact with these people over not two days, not two weeks, but several years. And uh, I used to get loads of publicity content from TV Joshua seeking us to publish his, uh, his content. And I have beyond that, I've got at least one case here, which is, which, which went and was dealt with at a legal level that TB Joshua physically, literally physically tried to divert or, 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 or shall we say here, uh, divert the course of justice. And I've got evidence here beyond that also that TB Joshua has been, has been nothing close to consistent in what he says and does. But quickly, when it comes to committing crime, I have, I have, if TB Joshua was still alive, I would go there myself today. If I had the means mm. to get him, to get him not only exposed, but locked up forever, locked up in prison. I would wish if he could be resurrected, Bisola, okay? Mm. And just taken to prison. That's me. Right. If, just, if anyone's got questions there to ask me, ask me. Don't attack Bisola. Ask me. Listen to me. I'm a journalist, okay? And my work is subject to public scrutiny. So talk to me and anything that you wish, I can bring it out. So this is a big challenge here. Before this program is over, ask. Okay, type in the comment box there. If you want to come in on video, come straight on video and talk to me directly. Okay. So 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 Bisola, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off quickly. I'm gonna so that I create space 
for anyone out there who's disputing this evidence, who feels that this is false, this is fake, okay, let them come on video and talk to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Bissola, Bissola, you know um, um, what you're doing, uh, you must be happy with yourself. Like, you should be proud of yourself by now. This journey has taken such a long time. There were times when, I mean, the kind of attack, you, you're not even getting any more attacks like before now. Remember, the attacks have come, the attacks are reducing. And they will continue. Uh, this, okay, yeah. You know very well, the solar the attacks have started, they have started reducing. You know how the threat on your life has always been but gradually gradually you're seeing that god is fighting your battle with what is happening amen i'm not i don't rejoice over anybody's death i can't um oh, I'm, I'm not able to give somebody life so why should i rejoice over their death however there are some people who believe that people like tb joshua cannot even die there are people who are, oh somebody posted on, uh, on WhatsApp uh, media. Somebody posted somebody on was, uh, WhatsApp media. Sorry. Somebody, I have to sign out. I have to sorry, sign out, please. There's an echo. No. Okay. No. Some, I'm still so, hearing myself. I'm still hearing myself. Okay. There's an echo somewhere. Um, There's an echo somewhere. I don't yeah. know. And to be sad, I'm sorry, I have no battery. I have to go and charge this phone. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you very much, uh, my sister. We will keep talking. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. So, um, a lot of people, somebody posted on a uh, comments on worship media channel because we're also transmitting live. And they were saying that his uncle was rich, went to went to TB Joshua's church and then later fell out with him and he became poor. Right now he's in the village. He's always asking his uh, uncle that what really happened between you and TB Joshua that you became poor? And his uncle was telling him that the day he talks, he will die. I don't know the kind of... Um, you understand? I don't know what it is that he has over these people that can make them be afraid of discussing what happened between them and TB Joshua. And this happens with a lot of these fake pastors. When they come and they use intimidation, they use all kinds of things to hold people to ransom and convince them that there is a spiritual hold they have on them. And that is what is because you guys were talking about, I stepped out for a little bit, but I heard you guys talking about, you know, people coming up, coming forward to speak. They are afraid. They think something will happen to them if they talk. They think that spiritually, um, but even if spiritually they've entered into a covenant, they need to know that they are able to break the covenant. They don't have any hold over you. Whatever it is, is broken. They should come out and speak. The reason why they need to come out and speak is because, listen to me, you will actually, it's dangerous and selfish for you to know these things and keep it to yourself because you would have been the reason why other people will be saved but when you keep quiet people will continue to die hmm. nobody knows how uh, they are going to reorganize themselves and continue but my suspicion is that they will still continue to try to do what tb joshua is doing in the synagogue because it's all about business they won't want it to fold and so the more we reveal these things, and not just T.B. Joshua's church, all the fake pastors, uh, Apostle Suleiman, and all of them, they need to be, they need to be exposed so that we can save the lives of many people. That's why it is very, very important. We let them go to court. Let them sue us for libel. Should be Apostle Suleiman say you can't mention him in, uh, in, in your. That one is really, really very annoying to me. So. Anybody that wants to sue, let them continue to sue, and we'll see where this thing ends for all of us. Uh, Stabisola, I have another event I need to I need to rush Thank off to. Oh, 
taking two hours. It's yeah, amazing. time flies, eh? <laughs> time yeah, flies. Time flies. Thank you. But thank you so much. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing you in Canada one of these days. You've done yes. quite an awesome job. I hope that you're able to travel outside the country and uh, talk to people all over the place. From thank from it because I know where you are is not comfortable. You face a lot of threats. There's uh, your security is not is highly compromised because of um, the kind of security that we have in Nigeria. So I look forward to when you are able to at least. Uh, step outside the country and be in a position where your work will be uh, done better and you can reach a larger audience. So thank you so much for having me on your program. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you, sir. Thank All you, right. sir. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. God for today's uh, program. Of him of of the Lord I don't know why of and the Lord alone shall be exalted. Remember, this is freedom to have a channel. And we are preparing our experiences. Exalted one. Prepare my Entering to the rock and hiding the 